Hey everybody, so it's day 13 of my Vlogmas. I'm actually recording on my phone because my laptop is dead. I don't feel like charging it right now. <laughs> and so today's question is, how did I hurt my shoulder? So if you've seen some of my videos before, I've mentioned it probably in a budget video. Um, I think I was mentioning it in a storm mode video. I can't remember exactly. I injured my shoulder. It's my right shoulder and my personal doctor is diagnosed a partial rotator cuff tear and a labrum tear. And to my knowledge, I don't think they can do anything about a labrum tear. It's what I think like something about holds the joint. I'm not sure. I should probably look into it. Um, but the rotator cuff tear I'm a little familiar with because my mom actually had rotator cuff surgery. Um, but she had three complete tears. So hers was a little more extensive. Um, I got injured, or actually I noticed the pain, I probably was injured before then, but I've noticed a great deal amount of pain about a year ago, a year ago, pretty much, I think it was around the 16th of last year, I went to the doctor, and, um, they just thought it was, like, an impingement or, like, a sore arm or something, um, I continued on doing what I was doing, I was just, like, basically taking so many painkillers because I was in so much pain, and I kind of kept doing what I was doing, how I most likely heard it was overuse of my shoulder because I was a parking officer at the time, and I was doing traffic control. And, I I mean, you get injured. That's just what happens. I was doing a lot of traffic control because, sadly, traffic control is my favorite part of the job. I loved doing traffic control, um, which is probably really weird to say because when I was being trained for traffic control, I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. And then once I, you know, figured it out and how it works, I loved doing it. Um, so, I, I'm trying to think, like, the timeline. I've said it so many times because now I'm in workers' comp, so I had to say it um, to so many doctors. But basically, initially, I went to my own doctor, and they're the ones who diagnosed it, and I was on... Um, it called light duty and then I was off light duty um, because the light duty actually helped because obviously it wasn't hurting as much and then I got injured again at work and that started the whole ball rolling with workers comp um, that I'm currently trying to figure out I know the workers comp doctors want another MRI with contrast which kind of sucks because that hurts a lot they put you in the weirdest position and it hurts and you have to sit there for like 20 minutes or something um, it is a possibility that I'm getting surgery which is fantastic because that's sarcasm. I, I really don't want surgery. If I need it, I'll get it. Um, but I don't want surgery because it's my right arm and it will be literally in a sling for I don't know how long. And it's my dominant arm, so it's kind of kind of sucks. But long story short, I injured my shoulder at work and hopefully we'll be getting some treatment sometime soon. Hopefully. But yeah, I pretty much can't lift it easily above my head. I can if I like shift like my back and then do this weird thing and then I can do it, but otherwise it's kinda kinda hurts. Um it hurts pretty much every day, especially when I'm working a lot and I'm grabbing a lot of things. Um if it's under a certain plane of my arm motion it's okay, but once I start grabbing a little higher it's hard not to do because it's my dominant hand. So I try my hardest. Um right now I'm holding the phone my phone with my left hand, um, which is now getting tired. So it kind of sucks. I've been able to work out my upper body in like a year because it just hurts. I do my therapy exercises because it helps keep it a little loose so it doesn't get all tight, but I have no strength basically, which sucks. But yeah, that's how I hurt my shoulder and I will see you tomorrow.